What's up everyone? Uh, how are you doing? Uh, I just uploaded two videos of uh, some new soaps that I got in and uh, I really hope you enjoy those. But I, I kind of wanted to show you the rest of uh, the gift that I got because it was very kind and I feel like uh, I feel like it needs a little uh, attention. Hey Frankie, my dog just jumped off the couch. Anyway, so yeah, here I am. I got my setup in the uh, eggplant colored kitchen. Uh, when we moved in, we said uh, we were going to paint, and then it grew on us. I kind of like it. Anyway, uh, let's try to put my ADD to the side. So this is the, you know, the nice handy dandy little bag, a little red happy birthday bag. You know, it's pretty neat. I like it. However, I'm not a big fan of the glitter. There's glitter on here, and I don't know if you can see that or not. Just trust me. The, the, the happy birthday lettering has glitter on it, and I hate glitter. There's like a, I, I really hate glitter. I hate glitter to an extent that it's almost irrational. Uh, and this lady knew that, and she wanted to fuck with me. So it was kind of like one of those things where you just want to be like, you know what, you know, I like you, but I want to punch you, but you're a woman, so I can't. Okay, uh, joking aside, let's get into it, and I've already showed you guys this. If you watched the, uh, the previous video, I, we introduced the Irish Cream and Whiskey. A fantastic bar of soap smells absolutely amazing. If you can, if you still can, try to get you some because I, I don't think there's a I don't I don't think they're gonna keep selling it. Either way, uh, let's see, oh, another Irish cream. So she got me two. She got me two Dr. Squatch Irish cream and whiskey uh, soaps, which is fantastic. That's awesome. I couldn't ask for anything. I mean, she, she went above and beyond. There's no reason. None of my friends even got me anything like this. Or anything at all, to be specific. Uh, I, I will say that, um, you know, this is my wife's co-worker. Like, and, and, you know, we've been out a few times. We've gone out to dinners and, you know, had a good time. We've been invited to birthday parties. Um you know, Halloween parties, things like that. Uh, she's a hell of a nice lady, and I didn't get her anything for her birthday last year, so uh, I, I guess I'm going to have to step it up. Anyway, so she got me two of the Irish Cream and uh, Whiskeys, Dr. Squatch soap, and then this one I've never seen before in my life until today, Wood Barrel Bourbon. Uh, if, you, if you didn't watch it, go and... Pause this video. Go back and look at my uh, wood barrel bourbon video, and 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 you know let me explain the uh, the whole ordeal there. It smells amazing. See now, right now I'm I'm kind of I'm torn because I, I'm currently like in my actual shower. I'm I'm going through the Duke Cannons. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Oak barrel, oak barrel something scent. I don't know. It's really good, and it really does smell like an oak barrel with a hint of whiskey. So, uh, Duke Cannon did a good job on that. But it, it you know, I'm, I'm kind of torn because I think this the scent on this. How, uh, how you know? Because the Duke Cannon Buffalo Trace uh, oak barrel scent. It's authentic. It's so real. It's scary. It's kind of cool, you know, but this uh, wood barrel bourbon, I do, I will say it is the best scent that I think uh, wood, or that I think Dr. Squatch offers right now. And I don't even know if they're offering it still. And it, but it, the only, the only thing is My only gripe was that uh, it's really mushy for some reason. I don't know why. 
like if I put in a, a little, if I put a little pressure on it, put a little indention in it, I, none of the other ones do that. So, uh, is what it is. I'm not gonna complain about it. Um, it's still awesome. You know, that's that's a new one that I got to make content for. Perfect. Uh, here's one that we featured on this channel before, and that is Bay Rum. I am pretty sure that I've done Bay Rum before. I think my wife got it for me. Uh, it is the Island Tropics with Spice. That's all you smell with the Bay Rum. You just smell some spice. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, really good stuff. You know, I, I feel like their natural soap is top-notch, and you can't go wrong with any of them. However, if you're going to buy Dr. Squatch, please, for the love of God, get something that, that's going to stick. Get something that, you know, when you take a shower three hours before you go out, you still smell good. Get you get you one. Uh, like, my, my top favorites right now are the, uh, the uh, Cedar Citrus and uh, Pine Tar. Uh, that, that Pine Tar will stick with you, and it smells really good. And it's a little exfoliating. And, uh, well, I guess that's all of Oh, the Spearmint Basil. Those probably are my top three right now because that's all I've tried. And, uh, well, no, I did try an aloe, and it didn't stick at all. It, like, as soon as you get out of the shower, you smell like nothing. And uh, it's very disappointing. So, just a, just a, a heads up. Now... Uh, there's one more product that I'm going to show you guys, but I think I'm going to make a whole video about it because I'm not really going to, I, I want to use it, but I want to expand on it a little bit more because I'm not too sure about these kinds of products, okay? But it is a Dr. Squatch product, and that is, uh, Dr. Squatch Organic, oh shit, I almost dropped it, Organic Beard Oil. I don't know if you can, I can't see because my, I, I have to use the back camera. And I'm using a fucking mirror. There we go. Oh, yeah. So this is organic beard oil. For the love of God. I give up. Just trust me. It is organic beard oil. Come on. Yeah, you can kind of see it a little bit. Organic beard oil. Anyway, uh, apparently the uh, the scent is Lakeside Bourbon, which, uh, guys, if you're going to make another scent, you need to make that into a soap, you bitch. Uh, now, this is like one of those droppers. I feel like I feel like this is for your, you know, it, it what they did was, uh, excuse me, they uh, finished off some ear medication and then slapped a label on it. Tell me you didn't. Uh, anyway, so this is one fluid ounce of Lakeside Bourbon Organic Beard Oil from Dr. Squatch. Uh, please. Yeah, Lakeside Bourbon right there. Now, I've never, in my past experience using beard oil, they've done nothing and uh, they didn't help. They didn't, you know, even some of the ones that they, they you know, they guarantee that, uh, you know, you got, you're going to have a, a nice beard. It's going to feel great. It's going to uh, grow or whatever, you know, and my beard always did kind of grow, but it's not, you know, it's not really, it's not the best beard. I, I still got, you know, missing some, you know, so it's false. It's false advertising is what it is, but, and... Let's see. Okay, best use, put two to three drops of oil in palms of your hands. Spread oil evenly on palms and fingers. Massage oil throughout your glorious beard. So, I guess if you got, like, not a beard or, you know, little beard, it's probably not very glorious. No hate, I'm just saying. That's what they're claiming. Dr. Squatch All Natural Beard Oils use organic wild crafted oils. What the fuck does that even mean? Dr. Squatch All Natural Beard Oils use organic wild crafted oils. Who's wildly crafting these out in the wild? 
That's what I wanna know. To make your face fur feel healthy and silky smooth while offering a subtle scent of manliness. Now, I'm gonna pop this open and I'm gonna take a, I'm telling, I'm gonna take a whiff because I don't know what lakeside bourbon smells like. Accord, uh, I mean, according to Dr. Squatch, it even lists the notes on here like they do the soaps. Uh, the notes are aged whiskey, leather-bound books, fuck off, I hate that shit, and oak moss. Stop. Stop it. Anyway, quit being a bitch. Oh, I hate this shit. I feel like I just opened a thing of CBD, like a little CBD tincture. Don't drink this, by the way. It's not edible. Oh, well, I guess if it's all natural, you should be able to ingest it and be fine, right? If it's wild crafted, let me take a taste and uh, find out. Just kidding. Don't do that. Uh, so... Holy shit, it even smells like some kind of fake-ass CBD oil. What the fuck? Whatever Lakeside Bourbon smells like. Don't get me wrong, it smells good. But it smells a little hempish, just like I was talking about. Maybe I gotta actually, you know, get it out of here. And use some of it. Oh, I put my nose right on it. Yeah, it just smells like some really bad hemp oil. Anyway. I will I will make another video about this. And uh, um, I will, you know, let you know what the hell is going on with that. But anyway, there, so that's Dr. Squatch. Lakeside Bourbon uh, Organic Beard Oil. That's what she got me. Which probably wasn't cheap. Uh, but I will try it. Uh, now, I'm going to say that for last. Uh, these are gag gifts. But I tell you, I probably... Either my wife or myself will use these. Because I don't like to waste. Uh, five pack of Macaroon uh, Bath Bombs. Now, these were a, a gag gift. But... Uh, you know, you got to treat yourself to, to, to some nice things. You got to treat yourself, okay? You know, if you want to throw in a, a, a macaroon bath bomb, who am I to say no? Who am I to, you know, den to deny someone happiness? Uh, and I don't know if they even look like macaroons, but they look like little Krabby Patties. You remember uh, Pretty Patties? That's what this reminds me of. Uh, but it is a five pack of macaroon bath bombs. Don't eat it. It's not edible, just like the the beard oil. Don't don't try it, please. Uh, not tested on animals. Directions: Remove all packaging before use. Place in warm water and enjoy. Mm, so there's you know there's just like there's a bunch of other things. It's got a bunch of bull crap in it. Some dyes and things. Unnecessary dyes, you know, it's it's more appealing towards kids and, you know, single mothers. But, uh, you know, this was a gag gift. I'm sure this was like a couple bucks or something. Uh, so she's not hurting. But, so these this is what it comes with. Vanilla Dream, that's this one right up here. But This is Vanilla Dream. Uh, this one, here, I'll do, I'll do it this one. This one, the second one, where I got my finger right there, is Berry Blast. This one right here is Lavender Love. Uh, this one right here is Cotton Candy. And the very bottom one is Strawberry Burst. Um, that's actually pretty cool. Like I said, I mean, I'm not gay, but I'm probably going to use these. You know, not that you have to be gay to use these. But, you know, they are a little feminine. Doesn't matter. Didn't even have to throw that in there. Ignore that. Uh, last but not least, this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life, okay? Uh, this is... Okay. So it's Shimmer Body Mist and Body Glitter. 
Once again, it kind of goes with the theme. I am, I, I fucking hate glitter. Once you get glitter on something, it never comes off. It lives in your house like a fucking parasite. It, it never goes away, okay? And even if you could clean it up a little bit, but it's still there, and you know it's there, and that's what really drives me nuts. So this, I will probably give away uh, to somebody uh, if you want. If, if you would like this, leave a comment down below, and I'll just ship it to your mother's house. Anyway, that's it. There's also a card in there, but it's a little personal. I'm not going to read it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I really appreciate all the love and support. And uh, I think this is going to be the last video for a while. Sixteen minutes. I gotta wrap this shit up. All right, that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, subscribe for more and leave me uh, leave me some comments. Let me know uh, what the hell you would like to see. And uh, yeah, peace out.